Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm here to speak in defense of pizza box coders. Uh, so my name is Jim Ryan. I'm the president of UVA, and I am absolutely thrilled to be here at what is a genuinely extraordinary moment. This is only the second time in the last 50 years that UVA has created a new school. And as with any effort of this size and ambition and magnitude, um, there were an awful lot of people involved, and I'd like to offer some thanks to some of them. First, to Jaffrey and Merrill Woodruff. Um, without the two of you, this never would have happened. Uh, your vision and your generosity um, were outsized in just the right way, um, and we owe you a great deal of thanks. I want to thank Don Brown, who was the founding director of the Data Science Institute, and Phil Bourne, uh, the current director, um, for your remarkable vision um, and tenacity, a little bit of which I'll talk about later. Um, but this school also would not have happened without the two of you. Um, thanks to my predecessor, um, President Terry Sullivan, who saw the potential um, in this school um, long before I arrived, and Tom Katsalias, the former provost, and the provost's office for working so hard. Um, to bring this to fruition. Um, thanks go to the Faculty Senate um, for their work in strengthening the design of the school, and then to the Board of Visitors, and then finally to the State Council of Higher Education of Virginia, which was one of, um, the, was, I think was the final of 73 um, bureaucratic hurdles that we had to <laughs> overcome before um, we were able to be here today, um, which as I was joking with Phil, is the 16th launching of the School of Data Science, but <laughs> the official one. Um, so I come here today and speak to you with the zeal of the converted. Um, I was thinking the other day of my first meeting with um, Don Brown and Phil Bourne to talk about a school of data science. This was after I had been named president, but before I arrived and I was visiting um, and uh, Terry set up a meeting uh, so that I would be persuaded about um, the idea of creating a new school. I was not completely persuaded. I began very skeptical, not skeptical about data science. I know that there are always debates about when a field has matured enough to be recognized as an independent field rather than an extension of existing fields. But my area is law and education, and I understood the power of data analysis and what it could bring to the study of education. So I was completely convinced about data science as a field. I wasn't convinced about data science as a school because it seemed to me, and I bet you would agree, that data science is inherently interdisciplinary. And I thought, given that it is by nature interdisciplinary, why would you create a school? And I asked several pointed questions um, to um, Phil and Don about that. And what they finally um, were able to persuade me, and this is what got me so excited, is that this would not be your typical school. That this would be, as you saw in the video, and as you've probably heard say, a school without walls, a school that is integrated across grounds, a school that, that will have outposts across grounds, a school where faculty will have joint appointments, a school where faculty from other schools and departments will be able to come through internal fellowships to spend time at this school because data science is not just changing the world outside of academia, but it is changing the world inside of academia as well. And the reason I have the zeal of the converted is because the opportunity to be a leader in a new and burgeoning field and create a different kind of school, to my mind, is simply irresistible. And for those reasons, I couldn't be more thrilled um, to be here today. Um, so thanks again to all of you who made this possible. I'm now going to invite up Liz McGill um, to say a few words. Liz is our new provost. She has been on the ground um, for uh, nearly two months, and she's already launched a new school. So I mean, she has hit. <laughs> She really knows how to get things done. Uh, she comes to us uh, from Stanford, uh, where she was dean of the law school for seven years. Prior to that, um, she was a member of the law faculty for 15 years and served as vice dean. There's no one I trust or admire more as a leader in higher education, and no one who believes more deeply in the power of research universities, especially public research universities, than Liz McGill. We are incredibly fortunate, and I am personally incredibly um, lucky um, to have wooed her back to the University of Virginia. And I know she is as excited as I am about the new School of Data Science. Liz?
I want to endorse everything that Jim said in le except that last part, um, which is it's that my, my parents would absolutely believe. Um, I, too, am delighted to be here. I have uh, a desire to echo all I did high school drama. I could just speak loudly. Uh, echo all of the thanks uh, that Jim gave. And I want to single out uh, two people in the provost office, Archie Holmes and Anda Webb, who worked very closely with Phil on the 70th, 71st, and 72nd um, bureaucratic hurdles. Um, so thank you, in addition to um, the people Jim recognized, who we all owe our thanks to. Um, I took the job at UVA for many reasons. Uh, the ability to take credit for the work of other people that was done in the past in launching the 12th school was certainly part of it. Um, that was a joke. Uh, as you know, we have a, a new leadership at the university and a new strategic plan, and uh, that strategic plan has a lot to do uh, with working across disciplines and energizing our teaching and our research and our service, um, partly through different approaches. Um, and that's why it's very exciting to be able to be here. Uh, launches. Um, the school, uh, in, in some ways that Jim talked about, I'll talk about just a couple of others, really is representative of a school without walls, as you heard. Um, and they're uh, a school that is naturally, instinctively, pervasively working across disciplines. Um, they have lots of different projects already that involve multiple schools at the university, medicine, education, architecture, the college, UVA wise, uh, fellowships uh, in data science that span uh, the university as well that bring together graduate students from a wide variety of schools. Uh, the school is partnering with a library as well on an open data lab to share uh, data across the institution. And the school is also working with community organizations uh, to use their expertise to advance causes uh, for local and civic institutions. So this is the definition of a different kind of school, a different kind of uh, entity within the university that I think is going to change not just our accumulation of knowledge, our transmission of knowledge, not just this institution, uh, but I hope higher education in general as a model for others. And I know Phil and Don have experienced that already. Everyone wants to come to talk to them about what we're doing here. Let me say just a few words about Phil Bourne, who I've had the great privilege of getting to know and was delighted to be able to, um, along with Jim, uh, convince him to be the founding dean of the 12th school at the University of Virginia. I think all of you know that the right leadership is absolutely critical to success in any endeavor, any institution, and definitely, in my experience, any academic institution. Um, for that basic reason, that's why I'm so thrilled, and I know Jim is as well, that Phil agreed to be our founding dean. Phil came to us from the NIH in 2017 to lead the institute following Don's fantastic leadership. He himself says his career didn't necessarily follow a traditional path. He has a wide range of interests and experiences. He earned a PhD in physical chemistry uh, from the Flinders University in South Australia, which gives him his fantastic accent. Uh, Anything Phil explains sounds better because of the way he explains it, in my opinion. In fact, in difficult meetings, I mimic the, uh, Phil's voice, but it, it never works. Um, Phil has founded four companies. Prior to the NIH, he was tw for 20 years on the faculty uh, at UC San Diego, serving as an associate vice chancellor of innovation and industrial alliances, among many other leadership roles. As an associate director for, the data science, for data science at the NIH, he led the Big Data to Knowledge program, which I think many of you here know, making biomedical research available to scientists and researchers across the globe. Phil is a fellow and past president of the International Society for Computational Biology, an elected fellow of the American Association for the Advancement of Science, and the American Medical Informatics Association. He's won many awards for his leadership, his vision, his intelligence. Um, he won Microsoft's Jim Gray E. Science Award, the bioinformatics.org, this is my favorite, Benjamin Franklin Award, the Sun Microsystems Convergence Award, also a fantastic award. He's published five books, and he's the co-founder and founding editor-in-chief of the Open Access Journal, PLOS Computational Biology. 
When Phil came to UVA, he had very big shoes to feel, Phil, and you're going to hear more about them today. Um, that's Don Brown's shoes. He was welcomed and cheered by Don, which doesn't always happen between a predecessor and a successor, as you may know, but Don was Phil's champion. In the two years that he's been here, he has transformed the DSI into our 12th school, all the while living critical values that are important to him. These are prominently displayed on the new school's website. Collaboration, openness and transparency, diversity and inclusivity, and responsible ethical work. Phil envisions this school as a collaborative team space. I know he will want to recognize the team he worked with to get us here, especially the faculty and the staff who worked in the DSI. Still, leaders matter. And it's Phil who had the vision of a school without walls and the tenacity to make this move from the DSI to the school a reality, the everyday hard work that it took to do this. There was no question that when the school came into being, we wanted to convince him to be the founding dean. So it gives me enormous pleasure, and I suspect I join you in that, to celebrate the school's creation with you, introduce and to formally introduce Phil, the founding dean of the 12th school at the University of Virginia, the School of Data Science, Phil. Good day. <laughs> uh, I, I think that's about as far as Australian I'll, I'll go right now. I, I think in forming this school, it's just an incredible honour, and I, I can't thank uh, Jim and Liz enough for giving me this opportunity uh, and to be here today and really move the whole thing forward. It's just absolutely incredible. And, you know, I think we're going to be judged not by what we say, but by what we do. But having said that, I'm going to say a few words. Uh, <laughs> not, not that many. Um, first of all, just a few thanks. There's been thanks given all around already, and I think there it's just been an amazing team effort. I'll just highlight a couple of things. Firstly, of course, Jaffrey and Meryl Woodruff, thank you so much for your generosity and what you've done. And not just for that, but the fact you were the ex-officio uh, member of my search committee when I came here, and I still got the job. So thank <laughs> <laughs> And Archie, of course, Archie Holmes, who was the chair of that committee. There's also a lesson there, as one of the members of the committee was a former student, Jason Pappen. So the lesson is make sure you're nice to your students so that you won't have a job in the future. <laughs> um, so, you know, we're, we're just getting started uh, in, in the terms of the school. And I also want to thank uh, various other people. First and foremost, remaining is there is my wife, Roma Bourne, uh, who I keep telling every job I get, I'll be working less than I did before, but in actual fact, I work more than I did before. So thank you for that. Uh, for our two wonderful children who are in different parts of the world and still think we live in Charlotte. I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> but they'll, they'll, they'll get it sooner or later. Uh, um, and to the Don Brown and the DSI team, uh, we would not have done it without us. When I came, there was five of us. There's now like 38. There'll be many more by the end of this year and next year. And we're all working together to really make this uh, a reality uh, in the way that uh, Jim and Liz have described. I'll just make two uh, brief points about uh, the nature of what we're doing. I think it's happening at a point in history that is just unprecedented. We are at this point where I think, and of course I drink my own Kool-Aid here, but that it's, it's fundamental to the extent of being equivalent to the, the agricultural revolution, the industrial revolution, and the computer revolution. Um, I think where the data revolution is really the soul of the internet in some ways, and it really is going to change society dramatically. And that's happening at a time when uh, there is much to be done. And, Hence, uh, hence the focus on certain areas like the environment, uh, the, the aging population, uh, the role of democracy, uh, and so on and so on. These are areas we can't do everything uh, across all these interdisciplinary domains, but we're going to focus on areas where we make a difference. And we're going to do it in a way that's perhaps to some degree non-traditional. That is, papers and so forth are very important in an academic way. But we also want to actually turn these things into services and products in what we're doing that really serve the community uh, on a much larger basis. We have a five-year strategic plan. In the, in the 71 instances of creating the, uh, the school, we've had plenty of time to prepare a five-year plan which maps closely 
uh, to uh, the, uh, the plan that uh, Jim and the team have developed for the university writ large. So we will be following that closely. At a time when I think uh, higher education is certainly under some stress, I think the, the word that uh, we really think about when we talk about the school, and it's been said in some fashion already, is interdisciplinarity. That is the absolute key of moving forward, in my opinion. That's where we're going to solve and deal with a lot of these complex problems that we just can't do within our silos and without really working together. And data is really the catalyst and the future for all of that, in my opinion. So join us in really celebrating what we're, what's been created here by all of you uh, in a wonderful way. And I really look forward to working with all of you going forward. It's going to be a fantastic ride. Thank you very much. <laughs>